it's definitely cold and scary in space, but it's also apparently plot conveniences. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Alien, <coughs> I mean Life, and I just saw it, and I will say this at first, I enjoyed it, but I do have a few issues. First off, this is a pretty interesting space movie. This is the idea of what would happen if a modular went to Mars, gathered some samples, and came back to the International Space Station. What I really enjoyed right off the bat of this movie is it actually showed what the International Space Station is. In other movies, we've never really seen them use it other than, oh, they're installing something just before something goes terribly wrong. This movie actually used the International Space Station for what it is for, a lab center that they can do stuff on that they cannot do on Earth. Or, in the case of this, do it isolated from Earth without contracting any sort of viruses are some sort of alien parasite that can eat you alive, which is what happens in this movie. Obviously things don't work out very well soon on and this parasite starts to kill off members of the crew and they are fighting to survive as well to figure out how to defeat it as well as ensure their own safety. Some things I will say, this movie does do a few things that kind of come out of nowhere. There's a few deaths that appear that are like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Admittedly, there are some smart aspects to this script and that's because it's written by the guys who wrote the Deadpool script. There is some humor, but this is a dark movie in the sense that even the characters themselves are all these kind of dark and really guilt, not a guilty, but like got the world on their shoulders sort of characters. Jake Gyllenhaal's the longest man who's ever been in space and he's up there because he can't stand being back on Earth because of flashbacks of terrible massacres happening in Syria. Or there's the black guy who's the scientist who is actually a paraplegic. He doesn't have the ability to use his legs and that's been weighing him down. He's like, you know, maybe I can do stuff in space but I still won't be able to walk and all that. These characters are depressing. They are! And the shooting of this film, I will give two thoughts. One, it's dark. Yes, it's space, but I just mean in terms of mood. The other thing is the camera is fluid, especially in the opening sequence. How it takes us on this ride of this continuous trip, and you don't really even realize it until about halfway through that the camera itself is actually upside down, but everything is still flowing correctly, and I will admit that was really well shot. I liked how it starts and I liked how it got to the first plot convenience. There is an issue that happens that damages their means of communication with Earth. It is literally a plot convenient, oh no, situation. There's no other way around it. They kind of just do a sentence that says, oh, maybe it might have been this, but it literally, it, it doesn't make sense. The parasite, Elgo named Calvin, is smart, and it is a conniving predator. And there's a cool kind of aspect to it, like this is a new life, but fudge it, we gotta kill this bastard because he's killing us off. There is a part where the scientist character points out that he's not evil, he's just trying to survive, just as we would in a similar situation. He doesn't hate us, he just needs to kill us to survive. And that was kind of cool. However, very soon after that, plot convenience number two appears. And again, I was like, oh, okay, movie, you just took another dip for me. All right, well, let's see how it goes to the climax. Climax, kind of, you know, a, a predictable setup. And then it ends, and I was pissed. <laughs> Not because of how it ends, but how they did it. What they did with the ending is, in my opinion, really lazy, stupid editing. The editors basically made it as though that they think that the audience, us the audience, are idiots. And I knew what they were doing, but I couldn't believe how badly they were doing it. Now, I know what they wanted to do, but admittedly, I think they could have done something way better. Way better, infinitely better than how they edited in the end. Despite these gripes, the story is still cool. Does it take a few alien tropes? Oh yeah, it takes a few tropes from different sci-fi horror movies, but it still is able to blend together and make a very engaging story. The characters are cool. Jake Gyllenhaal is still able to do a very interesting depth character in a horror movie, sci-fi thriller horror movie. I like the other characters and I did enjoy the movie, except for the three parts that pissed me off. In the end, I'm going to give Life a 4 out of 7. It's an enjoyable film. You will have fun with it. There are some creative elements to it, but they're just 
there's just a few elements that I was mentioning to this this to my friend after having Prometheus, which was just the most moronic sci-fi I've seen in a long time. But then seeing films like Gravity or Interstellar and these, these films that would bring back the idea of science fiction, the idea of intelligence and actual science study. And this movie starts off with that, but then it goes Prometheus at the end in terms of just stupid people. Either way, I did enjoy it. You will enjoy it. But I'm going to talk about the ending. If you guys don't want to hear anymore, this is the spoiler ending. I thought the ending was cool and stupid at the same time. As the movie was coming to its close, I was sitting there going, I wonder if they'll try something different. I wonder if they're actually going to go balls out with this. I wonder if they're actually going to make it the unhappy ending. And they did. However, as Jake Gyllenhaal's in his pod and the other girls in hers, we see them collide with some debris. And then we keep cutting back to Jake inside his in his pod and then another pod seemingly floating upwards. And he's pulling on the lever. Sure, the thing makes him pull off of it, but we've already seen the thing start to rise. And then what does it do? We keep cutting back to the pod floating off. Jake floating off. Jake floating off. Jake. And what do we see? His pod landing in the water and then the other girl who we hadn't really cut back to apparently going drifting off lost into space if anything there's not several ideas that they could have done when they hit the debris we could have cut to black and then we would have seen one land we could have cut to mission control and see them seeing the two pods one go up one go down and then we reveal what's happened to the pod that's hit the water we could have done a myriad of things that would have made that ending much less insulting to the audience in my opinion i just felt insulted with how that was edited Anyway, guys, that's my opinion of life. Hope you enjoyed this review. Sorry I ranted on. It's fun. It just was a little bit insulting to me. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.